I have a lot of different interests that are pretty disparate. I like love fly fishing, and then I also love to cook, and my roommate and I run a pop-up restaurant. Then I also really love research and being in lab. And so being in a place that's academic ethos where like that disparate, eclectic assortment of things could be married. At Sinai, I fostered the idea of finding your own path, and we're gonna provide you with the tools to like be supported, but at the end of the day, you're also gonna be able to kind of do your own individual thing, whatever that is for you. I envision a career in which my research will have a positive impact in improving psychiatric therapies, as well as just being a quality physician for those patients that I treat. I want to do both. It's going to be a physician scientist who finds the clinical problem that's right at the cusp of being pushed a little bit farther by the science and the scientific problem that's just necessary in order to push the clinical problem a little bit further. It's really about trying to find a place that has both the flexibility and the support to allow you to bloom into whatever physician scientist type career path you'd want to go down. No school does translation better than Mount Sinai. Translation is part of Mount Sinai's DNA. It is what defines us, it's in our history, and is now guiding us as we build for the future. There is no better place to do an MD-PhD degree than Mount Sinai for that reason. There is no substrate where one can combine being a doctor and being a scientist better than here at Mount Sinai. As we straddle two different worlds, medicine is very distinct from basic science, and I think the institution is always striving to sort of bridge those connections. As an MD-PhD student, if you join us at Mount Sinai, you will learn basic science from world experts but within the context always of clinical medicine, always within the context of how you can translate your knowledge of basic science to human disease, improve diagnostic tests and improve treatments, and eventually preventive measures and cures. What I tell the students is that you can be the bridge between the hospital and the laboratory. Go and fight for that discovery that you want to make and transform the way we teach you. The degree that our students are getting through the MD-PhD program at Mount Sinai is a basic science PhD that is built through each of these MTAs. Most students are engaged in either bench research or computational research that has some focus on patient-centered work. It wasn't really until I came to my PhD and I joined an immunology lab that I sort of really opened my eyes to how important immunology is. We are here to transform medicine we are world-renowned for our groundbreaking medical and scientific discovery and home to a full spectrum of research laboratories, institutes, centers of excellence, and strategic partnerships. We are interested in mechanisms of disease, particularly heart disease. Why do people get arrhythmias? If we can predict the cognitive decline before Alzheimer's, before the pathology, if we can look for biomarkers early on to make predictions, maybe then we can prevent that kind of decline later on. I think we are one of the leading programs in virology microbiology in the United States. In terms of SARS coronavirus 2, my laboratory was the first lab in the US that had an antibody test for determining if somebody had made antibodies against the virus. We were basically really on the forefront of characterizing the antibody response. I think the essence of what my lab did, we made an impact on people's life. We've seen great efficacy in a few of our patients that have advanced stage lymphoma. We treat one site uh, with therapeutic lymphoma vaccine and we see all of the other tumor sites melting away. I always tell my own students, I am your platform to jump to the next step. I give you my lab, I give you my resources, and I give you my mentoring. So you should take everything you want and use it for your own future. The PhD phase of the program has been working in the Jian Jin lab, where I'm essentially working to discover new drugs to treat triple negative breast cancer. Dr. Hank Schmidt, who is a breast oncologist, where I get to go in, talk with patients before their surgery, scrub into the OR, 
take out the tumor and then take that back to the laboratory to actually do analyses on these. Ultimately, with the idea of discovering a drug that will eventually prevent this person's chemo or prevent this person from having to get chemo and give us a better outcome for their tumor. The perspective here is that trainees actually hold the most power in the department because we know they are the future, they are the workforce, they are the ones bring science into the next forefront. The institution is deeply committed to diversity and inclusion and serving the underserved. In terms of their culture, their heritage, their backgrounds, their beliefs, and they can achieve incredible things because of the diversity that they bring, the diversity of experience, the diversity of thought. The Mount Sinai healthcare system now is probably the largest in New York and one of the largest in the countries, and so that means that students have access to an unparalleled diversity of patient populations and that's going to make them better doctors. I am making a difference even as a medical student here at Sinai to be able to serve the community that we're part of. When I talk to doctors on the wards, they're always impressed to see the type of background that I bring and the questions that I ask because sometimes it makes them think about a problem in a way that they didn't really expect. I can always go back to first principles and really start thinking, does this actually make sense? And I think MD-PhDs have that wonderful training that allows us to really critically evaluate the way we're practicing medicine. What attracted me most to the MSTP at Mount Sinai was the culture and community that this MSTP is grounded in. The collaborative nature of this environment, as well as the system's dedication to serving the underserved communities of New York City. My specific cohort of MD-PhD students, they're amazing, like all of them. And I think one of the things that really struck me was like, oh wow, these people, my friends, are all gonna be with me for eight years. The students at Mount Sinai are passionate, they're dedicated, they are innovative, and they want to change the world. We are looking for students who really love the intellectual journey. An MD-PhD education at Mount Sinai will arm you with what you need to thrive as a physician scientist, to be a star clinician, but also a star researcher, and ultimately to combine both worlds so that we could make the advances in biomedicine that we so sorely need to better treat today's major illnesses. And you will emerge as a true physician scientist at the top of your game.